All right, well, to start, um, so we have this flag at the very top, kind of makes all the flags look uniform. Um, it takes up a lot of space, and I think there's got to be a better way to do it. Um, but for right now, we want to make them look uniform if possible without that flag. So let's kind of remove the flag from the, the slides. Uh, this should look a little bit bigger, and uh, it should look like an intro slide too. So kind of use some uh, your artistic ideas for that one. Move to the next slide. Here we go. Okay. So uh, there's some Chinese in here. You want to keep that. Um, basically, there's two logos here. They need to be made the same size. There's two logos here also. Um, what else? Uh, other than just straight white in the background, if there's something we could do, that would be amazing. I'm open to ideas. Okay. All right, here is a whole bunch of reading over here. Um, what I would like to do is not have it just look so, I don't know, bland, I suppose, uh, just with an orange box with a little bit of fading. Um, if there's something else we could do to make it look a little bit more artistic, that would be solid. Again, we do away with this top part. And uh, keep this, this, and this here. Okay. Moving to the next part. All right. Uh, what I'd like to do is get rid of this part here. Make one, two, three of these spread across the top, and then put one, two, three of these spread across the middle. And then we can uh, put a couple pictures up here. Actually, for example, um, for this 2011, we want to put a picture of this building right under 2011. And then for 2014, we want to put a picture of this building right here. That's the Pendry Hotel. Picture of that right under 2014 which these last three years should be on a second line. And then I think we can put more pictures there, but I just want to see how that looks with that. Um, also, you want to keep this part right here um, with the, the FBI building, which is what this one over here. And then over here, it's actually going to be 60. And I want you to keep uh, this part too with the, uh, the picture of the hotel, um, I think. Actually, keep this as well um, with this part here, and also keep and keep all of this as well. Okay, great. Moving on. So it's Robert Green Company, great company. The slide's way too big. Um, so what I want to do is basically find a way to combine that slide with this slide. Um, so I think if we take off the top part, it would be good to start. Uh, we can move this up a little bit. Uh, this is how you say the Robert Green Company in Chinese. Uh, so this needs to stay together. And then what I want to do is, I think, maybe center this or just have it not make it look so blocky, but keep the text uh, next to these people. Um, the idea is to make it look like a designer had a touch of this and people cared about it. When you see a block like this that's orange, it just looks too uh, industrial and it looks like it's just straight from PowerPoint. Okay, so then we get over here. Um, I'm actually going to give you a second PowerPoint. Uh, it has these pictures that are with it along with some text. Um, just kind of try to make those slides look a little bit nicer too. Um, let's see what we have here. Yeah, same with this one. So the, each one of these can have their own slides. Um, so it'll be three slides total. Uh, so this is a picture of America. It has the logo on the bottom, free world maps. Please find a picture of America that looks good that doesn't have that. It would be great. Um, and then we can also have an arrow pointing to where San Diego is. It would be stellar. Okay. Um, next, here we go, right here. Um, what we'd like to see is basically a chart of the US, California, and San Diego, these three, through the years. So if you could go, and if you could even find data for 2015 and 2016, that'd be solid too. But if we can just do this and just make like a line chart, uh, would be great. And then here, we could even do a, uh, even do like a bar chart for just 2014 with just the US, California, and San Diego, their total median income would be good too. So line chart here and then bar for just this part. Don't need to show the changes for one year and three years. 
All right, going down. Um, okay, so I actually have this pitcher here. It's supposed to be stretched out. I'm not supposed to have this there. Uh, though this stuff is nice, uh, it's better just to talk about that. So we just want to have this pitcher take up the whole slide uh, and leave the Chinese on there is fine. So to take out this part and take out this part. All right, uh, this is good too. Um, so leave this slide, take out the top part again with the flag. Um, all right, and here we want to put in some we put graphics. Here we go. So we go to San Diego hotels. Um, I'll give you this file too. So basically, it shows by quarter, uh, basically the different occupancy rates. So we basically the two most important things are going to be occupancy rate over the quarters. Uh, as well as ADR over the quarters. It's going to be the price of getting a room. Um, so we're going to have those two things, and we want them to be compared to U.S. hotels also for those two things. That's so that we can see. Uh, so ADR and occupancy rate. Let's see. We've, ah, this is the one you want. Uh, occupancy rate and ADR um, for the U.S. So put those in a chart together, the U.S. and San Diego comparing with the U.S. ones, so people can compare. And I will give you those files as well. Okay. Um, this, uh, let's, uh, we, we want to say montage pendery uh, with this slide. We want to combine these two slides, but we want to make it look nice. Um, so if there's a way that we could put uh, that name here, that looks good. That'd be great. Open to your ideas. Um, please just do it and then let me see it. It'd be great. Okay, um, don't worry about that one. Okay, um, here we're trying to make this slide look good and have an impact, uh, which, is, which is difficult. So what we want to do is show maybe different pictures of the Montage Laguna Beach, uh, which you can find those pictures online. And yeah, let's do that. So just put pictures of the Montage Laguna Beach on here and uh, maybe make it look more like one of these is a newspaper and just use one of them actually. Um, you can actually just Google these keywords and find the story online. I think, let's go. This one, yeah, because it's from the LA Times. Yeah, use the LA Times one and then make it actually look like a newspaper. Um, let's say on the, the left side of this slide, you can take out this American flag. And then on the right side, we can have maybe three different pictures of the Laguna Beach Hotel that you get from online, similar to these three. So we have left side, it looks like a newspaper, and then the right side would be three pictures of the hotel. All right, moving on. Okay. Um, these are the highlights of the hotel. Again, we want them to look less industrial and less like their PowerPoint uh, mainstays. Look at more like a designer, you know, put some touch into it. Um, take out the American flag too. Uh, so make this part take up the whole slide and kind of make it, I mean, these could be check marks. Yeah, if these were like check marks, that'd be really nice. Um, maybe through the boxes. And maybe if it was like, uh, it looked like a pencil was checked, so it wasn't just like standard font, it would be great. Okay, um, so this one, uh, you can actually just stretch this to be taller, take out this American flag, and everything in this slide is fine. All right. Um, this part, you can take out this, to this, and this. Um, you really only want to keep this Chinese here. And basically, let's do uh, one, yeah, per perfect, okay. So make this Chinese, uh, just take up the whole screen. And or actually, it's, it's step one, two, and three. So we want it to look like it's a step one, two, or three. So if this one, if this one works, it's great. If it doesn't work, we go to step two. If this doesn't work, we go to step three. So um, use some ideas that you have to make it look like step one, two, three. Um, maybe we could have some text up here and then like a box that says one and then like an arrow that goes to two and then some more text up here for number two. Like another arrow that goes to a box over here that says three and then the text up here that says three. Uh, something like that. Open to ideas too. Um, give it a shot. Let me know what that looks like. Okay, this next one is a great infographic. Um, if there's a way we could make it look like it was taken directly from Excel, that would be awesome. Okay. Uh, this one, I think, we don't need, actually. We can just pull that out. Okay. Um, so this is a great example here. Pull this up, American flag. 
of white space too much and we want to kind of make these look like they're more spotlight on them so um, maybe if there was like uh, some kind of shining going on or something or some kind of effect would be, be great um, just anything to keep from just having pure white space in the back would be awesome uh, and keep the Chinese as well okay uh, same thing here. Uh, keep the logos, keep the Chinese, keep the pictures, but just make it look uh, like there's just less straight white space on the on the back. Okay. Um, here I have a new picture to give you, um, but basically, actually, actually, this picture should just take up uh, a whole slide and then have a date, and it should look nice. It'd be fine. I don't think we need these logos for this one. Okay. Um, and then basically this one, this one, this one, don't worry about this one. Uh, it's how we're closing. So take out the American flag and kind of put a little touch on it so there's not just straight white space in the back. It'd be great if possible. All right. Um, let's see if I think that's it for now. Uh, let me know your thoughts and uh, what you think of the stuff going on here.